Welcome to Marina's Kitchen. Uh, um, today I'm going to make some uh, lamb shanks. So I was doing them for my family tonight and I wasn't planned on putting it on YouTube but my family wanted me to uh, put it on YouTube so they would know what to do. It's very simple, uh, very straightforward. So what I have done is I bought half a dozen of lamb shanks. Uh, I have trimmed them. Uh, then I floured them and then I browned them in the fry pan just to brown them up a little bit. Now what I've done here is I've got a cup of chopped carrots, uh, a cup of chopped celery and two nice medium sized chopped onions. So I've put them there, you need a nice deep shallow dish. Uh, I've made a nice bed of those vegetables on the bottom. So what we do is we'll put some pepper and some salt right and now we'll add the lamb shanks to that just put lay them on the bed there what we need is we need is uh, half a or a glass of half a cup of wine and I've got some uh, beef stock and we need we need about half a uh, bottle of passada so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add, throw half of a bottle of passada on top of it, just like that. That's about all. Now I'm going to add my beef stock. There's about 200 mils of beef stock there. Um, if they dry up in the oven, you can still add a little bit of extra beef stock. Uh, put, uh, heat up your oven about 200 degrees. And also now we've got is some a red cooking wine and we'll add that to it. Now just give that a little bit of a stir over. Now this has got to be cooked very slowly. Uh, I've got my oven on 200. It, it has to be cooked, you know, they have to be in the oven for about two and a half hours to three hours, slowly cooked. Keep on turning them around. Um, and if they dry up a little bit, you can add a little bit more vegetable stock to it and uh, just keep on watching them. So there you go. That, that's all you need to do is that beautiful vegetables. Now I've got them, I'll put them in the oven and uh, what you do is put some nice alfoil on top of them to seal it. Like that. Then all, what I'll do is with these is uh, I'll serve them on a bed of nice mashed potatoes. Nice creamy mashed potatoes. And they will be just beautiful. And you'll know when they're ready that that meat just comes away from the bone. Uh, just keep on watching it. Uh, put it in the oven. Uh, turn them around occasionally. Uh, if they look as if they're drying up, just add some more little beef stock to it. And uh, I hope you'll enjoy them. They're very simple to do, uh, very quick and easy. You do it beforehand, you can put it in the oven, forget about it for two and a half hours, three hours, and they'll be perfect. Thank you for watching.